exercise we will uh, solve the problems using the graph where either position velocity or acceleration is given graphically uh, for erratic motion and we are being asked to calculate other kinematic quantities so for problem number one velocity is given as a function of time and that's a straight line uh, starting from zero and mathematical representation is also given that velocity is two times t when time t is 0, velocity is 0. When time t is 2, velocity is 2 times 2, which is 4. And we need to draw position versus time graph and acceleration versus time graph. Now, velocity to acceleration is, is the derivative, and derivative of a graph is the slope of the graph. So this is a straight line, so it has a constant slope, and the slope of this line is 2. So acceleration part will be a straight horizontal line. Uh, with the value at positive 2 and for position graph we need to do integration and integration of straight line is parabolic function so here is the solution of that so this is velocity graph from that acceleration always label x is uh, with the appropriate quantity so t is time in seconds a is acceleration <coughs> in meter per second square and it's constant so that's acceleration plot and position plot is parabolic function, which is given by mathematical equation s equal to 2 squared. And that's how it is being drawn. Now, let's work on the second problem. Uh, that's the problem we'll actually solve uh, in the notebook. So, for this problem, position is given as a function of time, and we need to plot velocity and acceleration plots. So, let's go to this. So, I have uh, two graphs here, one for velocity and one for acceleration and position. So, first thing is always label uh, label your axis. So, uh, give me a second. Um, okay, so this is time t in seconds and this is velocity v in meters per second. Now, this graph has a negative slope and the value of that slope is minus 2 that you can see from this mathematical function. So its velocity plot is actually, I need to move this further down because we have a negative value here. So yeah, this is 0 and above 0 line velocity is positive uh, and below 0 line velocity is negative. So basically this graph has a velocity which is minus 2 and that is constant and that's the plot for velocity uh, from 0 to 1 yeah at, at 1 yeah you can actually join this here so yeah this, this is extra portion that uh, we can get rid of so that's the velocity plot now velocity is, is a graph with constant like line it's a horizontal line so what is the slope of horizontal line so as you know that the slope of the horizontal line is 0 so acceleration plot is actually much more simple here. So t is time in second, acceleration is meter per second square, and that is zero. Because velocity uh, is uh, has a, like zero slope, basically. So that's the solution for in-class exercise 12.2.1. Uh, okay, so that's here. Okay, so it's minus two and it's zero. Now. If you go to in-class exercise, there is one more problem where acceleration is given as function and we need to calculate velocity at specific time. So this is one of the spatial graphs. Uh, when acceleration is or velocities are given as function of position, then we consider that as a spatial graph. And uh, basically, we need to follow the procedure that we have seen in the previous theory section. So try to apply that theoretical concept to this problem solving and uh, later you can look at the solution which is on Kodiak. This is the problem that we will solve in detail. So 12.49, that's here. The jet car is originally traveling at a velocity of 10 meters per second. See, you need to read certain keywords in the problem. So this is originally traveling. So when time t is zero, at that time, the car already has uh, this velocity. When it is subjected to acceleration that is shown in the figure, determine the car's maximum velocity and time t days when it stops and the initial condition is given as position of the car is at zero when time t is zero okay so that is given so 
this is acceleration plot and you can see here that the car has positive acceleration from 0 to 15 seconds so this, uh, so there are two segments of this acceleration plot like 0 to 15 and from 15 to t dash so 0 to 15 acceleration is positive that means car will speed up and at 15 second uh, the car is now slowing down so it's the deceleration phase or you can say that acceleration is negative and that's why the speed drops and at t dash it stops so its velocity becomes zero so it's very obvious from the acceleration plot that the maximum speed will happen at the end of the acceleration phase, which is at 15 seconds. So we need to calculate what that speed is. So let's apply the graphical solution. So on, on horizontal axis, we have time t, which is in seconds. On vertical axis, we have velocity v, which is meters per second. Now, initial velocity when time t is 0 is 10 meters per second. So that's really important that we plot that here. So this is initial velocity 10 meters per second so car is already is in motion now uh, x, we need to get get the uh, acceleration velocity from acceleration which is integration and integration of graph is nothing but the area under this graph so that's a rectangle with width equal to 15 and height equal to 6 so 15 times 6 is 90 that is the area under the graph but that's area that 90 15 times 6 90 is what we need to add to initial velocity or velocity at the previous point which is 10 so 10 plus 90 gives us uh, 100 so i'm just like drawing this reference line here so that t equal to 15 seconds velocity of the car will be 100 meters per second that's the maximum speed now what happens at 15 is now we have deceleration phase and the deceleration is again once again we need to find the area under this graph now and that area should be equal to the speed at this point which is 100 and then only the velocity uh, will become zero or the speed will become zero so now what we know for this deceleration phase phase is we already know the uh, height of the rectangle or the magnitude of deceleration phase which is minus 4 meter per second square all we need to calculate is what should be the width so that whatever is the width multiplied by 4 will give us minus 100 and it's very simple math that 4 times 25 is 100 now this is minus 4 so it's minus 4 times 25 is uh, 25 is minus 100 so width of this rectangle is 25 seconds now this is already 15 seconds so 15 plus 25 will give us 40 seconds starting from t equal to 0 so at t equal to 40 seconds the velocity of the car becomes 0 because at that time the negative acceleration or deceleration will have the same area under the graph as that of velocity at the previous point which is 100 so 100 minus 100 gives us full um, gives us zero and for that uh, this width should be 25 seconds plus 15 gives us total 40 seconds so that's how we solve the problem uh, using graphical solution